Good morning everyone, I'm back with another science video. I know you've missed me, so let's jump straight into the video. Today we're going to be making a balloon rocket. For this experiment you're going to need some balloons, some string, some paper, some scissors, make sure you ask an adult to help you with that part, some sellotape, and you're going to need two chairs. So, first step, you're going to take your paper and you're going to get your scissors. You need an adult to help you with this, please make sure they're watching. You're going to cut a small strip of paper about two centimetres from the edge and you're going to cut all the whole way across your paper. This is so that we can make our own roll so that our string can go right through the middle of that. Once you have your roll, you're going to want to get your sellotape and you're going to want to just stick that down so you can make a hole that goes all the way around. Let me show you. Okay, so once you've got your paper that's cut, I'm just going to roll it around my finger, wrapping every part around it, and then I'm going to get a small amount of tape. Oh, can't get it off my own finger. <laughs> Uh oh. Then I'm going to get a small amount of tape and I'm just going to stick it down so that it makes a complete cylinder. And then I'm just going to use the scissors to cut it up. And that's that step done. Moving on to the next one. Yes, the next step, you want to get your balloon. I've decided to go for a lovely red. I've chosen yellow as my colour. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to blow this up. I've chosen to go for the colour blue. Okay, blowing it up to around about this size. Now what you're going to do is make sure you hold it nice and tight. Don't let go, because if you let go, you're going to have to start again. Okay, so the next stage is we're going to get our small tube made of paper and we're going to sellotape it on top of our balloon. This is going to be quite difficult if you're doing it on your own, you might need an adult to help you so that you can do it in one place. You're going to enjoy watching me do it on my own, trying to balance it on top while using one hand. So enjoy the next few minutes whilst I try and do this one handedly. Okay, so I've got my balloon done now, I've got my um, tape and my paper tube on top, now I'm ready for the next step, however, we're not going to be tying it, we need to keep it loose, which means at this stage you can actually just let your balloon go down. Once you blow it back up, then you'll be ready for the next step. So, but first, we need to do something before that. So, let's move on. So now what we need to do is we need to set up where our rocket's going to be travelling from. So I'm going to get this chair and the one that I'm using, I'm going to set them up so that I can have my travelling distance. Now that I'm all set up, I'm going to get my string and I'm going to measure how much string I need going from one chair to the other. So I've measured, I need, whoa, this much string. I'm going to give myself a tiny bit extra so that I have enough space on each side of the string to tie a knot so that our string doesn't just fly around between the chairs. So let's do that now. Now that I've cut my string, I need to tie them on. Now 
Now, once you've tied on one side, you want to leave one side free because we need to do something else before that. Okay, so if you haven't already guessed, this balloon is going to be our rocket. So, now it's time for you to blow it back up and you've already got your paper um, slider in place. So, now as you can see, mine just popped off a little bit there, but because of the sellotape, it's still sticking on, so make sure it's stuck down nice and tight. Now at the minute, this doesn't look a lot like a rocket. So I'm going to get myself a fine liner pen and I'm going to draw on a design carefully without popping my balloon of my rocket. So let's have a look. And here we are, I'll show you a nice close-up of what my rocket looks like. So, here we are, this is NASA's brand new T-Lap rocket. Inside, you can see, is a small man waving. That's Bob. Bob the astronaut. Now, we're ready to take off. The last thing we need to do is attach our last part of string to the other chair. So, let's do that now. So, I'm ready now to put my rocket on my string. So, I need to put the string through our paper hold and through our paper hold and now I'm ready to tie on this end. Again, somebody else helping would be fantastic here, however I don't have anyone so I'm going to try and struggle myself. <laughs> Enjoy the next few minutes. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I've now managed to secure my journey. I'm going to put the rocket, balloon rocket, all the way to one end. Have a prediction. What do you think is going to happen? Blast off in three, two, one. Right, so now we're going to just apply a little bit more sellotape because the first attempt didn't work. Right, so I'm just going to blow my rocket back up because it seems to have failed too. Test ride, but that's okay because we're going to secure it with a little bit more sellotape now. <laughs> right, putting my rocket here, I have some pre-cut sellotape. That might be a top tip to get that sellotape pre-cut beforehand so you are not having to try and chase it round the roll. However, you cannot chase it. You still chase it around your tablecloth. Right. The scientists have done their research. There's no way this rocket can fail now. It's time to blast off. Hey! Crash landing! That doesn't matter! <laughs> okay, so our T-Lap rocket made it there in one piece, we got to our destination. What happened? Have a think. How did our rocket go from one side to the other? Tell your adult that's with you, see whether you can guesstimate how we got from one side to the other. Okay, so this is experiment is all about forces. Now, the forces on this balloon that are acting right now are gravity that wants to pull it down, and then when it is moving, it's our air resistance. Now to get it moving, we need to add something. And what we added was our air, our carbon dioxide, which was wanting to burst out of the balloon because there was no way of holding it in. So as it was bursting out, that was creating our thrust, which was pushing this way. And our air resistance was pushing against it, slowing it down. Now because we haven't got a very far distance, we were able to make the whole length in just the thrust that we had. However, maybe you could experiment with what happens when you make your journey longer, when you have your piece of string and your distance further. 
Does the balloon make it the whole way? Or does something stop it? That might be that air resistance. Thank you for joining me again on another fantastic experiment. I hope you have as much fun as I did because that was a brilliant experiment. <laughs> Please keep yourself safe, keep having fun, keep learning from home, and that's all from me for today. See you later, bye bye.